No, you are not in the wrong movie. We know you are not interested in elephants at the moment, but in this, in a really nice hotel bed. The best in Bangkok. Stay tuned. Welcome to In Bed with Luxury. This is Charles Paddington. I'm the founder of this unique travel channel. We've tested luxury hotels, cruises, trains, and breathtaking destinations all over the world. And now we have had a close look at Bangkok's luxury hotels. In this first part of our top 10 of Bangkok, we will start with the most famous one, a legendary hotel which ranked best hotel in the world for a long time. In a minute. But coming to elephants, in the past working elephants were quite common in Thailand's capital and there was little road traffic. In 1892 a French architect wrote, in this strange city there is no traffic noise. The reason was that two-thirds of Bangkok's population lived on boats and there were lots of water channels that were later turned into streets. And while in 1900 whole Thailand had only a population of less than 5 million people, nowadays inner Bangkok alone counts 10 million. Bangkok is a fascinating city for travelers and it boasts quite a lot of luxury hotels. They are, as the Thailish t-shirt philosophy sums up, same same but different. We checked and selected a dozen of the best and we present them to you like Thai street food, hopefully finger licking good and fast. At my first visit at the Oriental, it was ranked best hotel in the world and I wondered why these two massive buildings, the Garden Wing built in 1958 and the River Wing built in 1976, did not really impress me. Then I remembered Sherlock Holmes telling Dr. Watson, never trust a general impression, always look at details. The elevator smelled like lemongrass, the lift boy knew my floor, at dinner I was asked if I wanted my water sparkling like yesterday, and in the spa I fell asleep purring like a cat. This is how you would have arrived 100 years ago. The remains of the original building, established by a business-minded Danish captain in 1884, still exist. The beautifully restored building is called Author's Wing, because of so many famous writers who have stayed here. From Joseph Conrad to Graham Greene, from Somerset Maugham to John Le Carré. Having afternoon tea in this place is a magic experience if you think of all the celebrities who have stayed here, from Tsar Nicholas to astronaut Neil Armstrong, from US President George W. Bush to Mick Jagger and Lady Diana. But apart from these impressive memories, nowadays most guests of the Mandarin Oriental stay in a big hotel with 393 rooms and 8 restaurants. So what makes it a candidate for the top 10? The location at the Chao Phraya River, for instance, is top and the ratio of 4.5 staff to each and every guest is great. In 2016, the Mandarin Oriental underwent large renovations, unveiling a whole new wing. 
There is a flower team and butlers and there are nightly musical performances in the lobby. And the spa on the other side of the river is one of the best in the world. And despite some nostalgic feelings, the modern oriental definitely boasts more luxury than in its early days. Capella Bangkok was opened in late 2020 and it brought new standards to the high-end hotel segment in Bangkok. For instance, the 101 room property is the only city hotel with villas right on the Chao Phraya River. Surprisingly, the Singapore-based company which opened their first hotels in 2007 was founded by a German named Horst Schulze, a long-time Ritz-Carlton top manager. His philosophy, Capella's target group are the top 2% of business and leisure travelers for whom room rates are secondary to quality. 100% satisfaction of guests should be the goal of the company. Capella Bangkok is part of the Chao Phraya estate, a high-end development on the banks of Bangkok's famous river, and it shares the location with a Four Seasons Hotel and a residential skyscraper. The Capella boasts private villas, multi-room retreats with private gardens and pools, and excellent restaurants like the Mediterranean Cot, reigned by star chef Mauro Colagreco. The Capella Group, owned meanwhile by a rich Singapore family, the Quees, consists of six properties and six more to come in the next years, for instance in Sydney, Taipei and South Korea. The Peninsula Hotel, now 100% owned by the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank, is without any doubt one of the finest hotels in Thailand. Since its opening in 1998, it was ranked best hotel in the world, best hotel in Asia, and the Peninsula Hotel Group as a whole was the only hotel brand to be awarded the highest possible five-star status across all ten of its hotels by Forbes Travel Guide in 2021. It sits at the banks of the Chao Phrai River, the famous Mandarin Oriental is on the other side. It offers a very fine and authentic Thai restaurant, a good Cantonese one and western food at the lobby. The pool is nice, the spa is one of the best in Bangkok and in the elegant rooms guests can control their environment with the push of a button. If you want, you could arrive with a helicopter on top or you just enjoy the aviation lounge on the 37th floor. For us, the best of all, was the flawless and often surprising service, like your name stitched into the pillow.
The Okura Prestige is an exceptional luxury hotel and belongs to the Japanese hotel group Okura. It's famous for its breathtaking pool high in the sky. But apart from this spectacular feature, it's a great property, different to all other luxury hotels in Bangkok. It's a bit of Japan in the middle of Bangkok and offers great service, an authentic Japanese restaurant with fish flown in from Tokyo, a French gourmet outlet and a famous seafood brunch on Sunday. The Okura is located in the embassy and business quarter of Bangkok and sits opposite the high-end embassy shopping mall and the Park Hyatt Hotel. The Okura boasts 240 rooms and suites in 10 categories. All of them are on the 26th floor or higher. We like the views, we like the interior design and the size. The cheapest room starts with 43 square meters or 462 square feet. And yes, the views are spectacular. A perfect place for a dinner for two. Have you subscribed already? Thanks. Four Seasons swapped location in Bangkok. From Central, its former property is now the Anantara Siam, to the banks of the Chao Phraya River. 
spearheaded by Belgian arch- architect Jean Michel Gatti, the revival. All marble with wall-sized Thai contemporary art is bigger, brighter, and simply more beautiful. There is a modern Italian restaurant, and our favorite, the Brasserie Palmier, offering great seafood from oysters to lobsters. And when it comes to expectations, there is some trust in this brand. Four season standards are high everywhere. If you uh, stay here, you practically stay in Bill Gates' house, who owns more than 71% of the 124 property chain Four Seasons. That's all for now. Do not miss part two of our top 10 Bangkok review. And please subscribe to In Bed with Luxury, the unique travel channel. We deliver fresh finger licking good inspirations every two weeks. All the best, your Charles Paddington.